Welcome to Physics with Mr. Drew, the channel that will ensure that you get full marks at Physics GCSE. In this series of videos, we're going to be looking at the topic of electricity. We're going to start off with some of the really basic ideas about current, about voltage and so on, and then we will gradually build up until we get to the more sophisticated ideas like resistance, Ohm's law, etc. The first question I want to take a look at today is, what does the term electric current mean? Whenever you see the term electric current, it's referring to a flow or a movement of charge. The actual definition of electric current, though, is slightly different. When we have to define the term electric current, what we're referring to then is not just a flow of charge, but the rate of flow of charge. In other words, we're not just saying that charge is moving, but we're saying how quickly it's moving. How much charge is moving past a particular point in a circuit every second. So what is electric charge? Well, electric charge is a property of matter. It's something that we can measure, okay? And it turns out that there are two types. One type is positive charge, and the other type is negative charge. And we can determine these two types of charges by the way that they interact with each other. So positive and positive charge, for example, will always repel. If we get a proton which is positive and we put it near another proton which is also positive, they will repel each other. Negative and negative charge also repel. If we were to get an electron that's negative, put it next to another electron that's also negative, they would repel. Positive and negative, however, would attract each other. So if we get a positive proton, put it next to a negative electron, they're going to be attracted to each other. Always remember, if you're using an equation that involves charge, it's nearly always given the symbol Q. It can be small Q or it can be capital Q. Different books, different textbooks use different things. The units for charge are very unusual. They're actually called coulombs, and it's spelt like this. And if you wanted to write the symbol for a Coulomb, it's a capital C like that. Now, it's really important not to mix up the units, Coulombs, which is given the letter C, with the symbol for charge in an equation, which is Q. Try and keep those two ideas very separate in your mind. An electric current, therefore, is the rate of flow of charge. In other words, how much charge is moving past a particular point every second. Now, that charge can be positive, that charge can be negative. If we had a load of protons moving in one direction, that's a load of positive charge moving that way, that could be described as a current. Likewise, if we had a lot of electrons flying that direction, we could say that that is also an electric current. Now, at GCSE, by far the most common way that we describe electric currents are inside what we call conductors. Now, conductors have free electrons. In other words, they've got electrons that are free to move about. Now, when we make these electrons move by applying something called a potential difference uh, across the wire, we'll get to that all in good time. When these electrons are made to move in a particular direction, so if they're all moving this way, we say that there is an electric current flowing in that wire. So nine times out of ten at GCSE, we'll be talking about the movement of electrons, but it doesn't always have to be like that. Here's the equation for electric current. We say that I equals Q divided by T. Q stands for the amount of charge that has passed a particular point, and that's measured in coulombs. T stands for time. In other words, it's going to be measured in seconds, and it tells us how long it took for this amount of charge to flow. And if we divide the amount of charge that's flown, divide that by the time, that will tell us what the current is here. So current is measured in units of coulombs per second. It tells us how many coulombs of charge flow past a particular point per second. However, a lot of people don't use coulombs per second. It's nearly always abbreviated to something else. What we can write is we can say that one coulomb per second is equal to one amp. So the units for current, rather than writing coulombs per second, the vast majority of people will write capital A for amps. 
Of course, at GCSE, you're going to need to know how to rearrange these equations. So if i equals q divided by t, that means that q must equal i multiplied by t. And if q equals i multiplied by t, that must mean that t equals q divided by i. So when you memorize an equation, you can memorize it in one form, like i equals q divided by t, but also try and practice rearranging it a few times so that you're familiar with it in any manifestation. Measuring electric current is really straightforward. All you need is a device called an ammeter. Now an ammeter, the symbol for it looks something like this. You have the wire leading into it, the wire coming out of it. You have a circle and in the middle you just put a capital A and that will be the symbol for an ammeter. It's really important that you use the word ammeter and don't use words like amp meter and so on. The exam boards are often very strict about this. And that's it for today's video about electric current. So I hope you've learned the main points there. Current is a rate of flow of charge. Charge is measured in coulombs. Time is measured in seconds. Current is coulombs per second or amps. And we use an ammeter to measure it. Please do check out all the other videos in the series and do subscribe to Physics with Mr. Drew.